Welcome back to learning to code multi theft auto. In this episode, we're going to make use of the double underscore index method and meta tables for object oriented programming in Lua. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created a new organizations resource, added a meta.xml file and an organizations Lua script file. In this script, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to try and build a class essentially out of a table that's going to have some methods. And then we're going to figure out how to instantiate that class for multiple uh, implementations. So um, our class is going to be an organization table. And on that organization table, we want to have um, two methods. We're going to have an organization will have a name. So we'll have get name being a function. And the first argument to a function that you're going to use um, in object oriented programming is going to for Lua is going to be um, self. And here we're just going to return self dot name. And then we're going to have a set name function, which again is going to take in self and it's going to take in the name. And we're just going to do self dot name is equal to the name that got set that got passed in. So now that we have this organization class, what we want to do is we want to be able to instantiate that. So think of an organization as um, a faction or a team, as you might see in some of the RPG servers. Um, so the first one that we're going to do is we're going to create um, a police organization. And now what we want to do is we want to have a table, we want to make police its own table, and we'll set the name to be uh, Los Santos Police Department. And what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to use these functions against our police table. Now the way that we do this is utilizing a function that Lua provides to us called set meta table. So when you have a table, you can set what is called a meta table for your table. So <clears throat> this table being our um, being our object is going to have a meta table. And inside that meta table, what we're going to do is we're going to specify a double underscore index property, which is going to be organization. Now, inside of a meta table, what you can do is you can use fancy keywords like under, double underscore index or double underscore call, um, a few others. So underscore double underscore call means what happens if I try and use this table. So if I go police, and I try and use it as a function. So what you're going to do is set a function here. And then whatever arguments get passed in to this. So um, let's say we were going to pass in hello, that would come in as you know, the first variable here, and we could use it and do something in here. But what we're really concerned with right now is double underscore index. Now what double underscore index does, when you are calling police, and you're looking for a property. So let's say that I went and did police dot name. I want to output chat box police dot name. So what this is going to do is it's going to look at this police table here. And uh, it is going to grab the name property and it is going to return it. Now if I was going to do something like police dot uh, location, what it's going to do is it's going to look in this table. And as you can see, we don't have a location property on this table. So what it's going to do is it's going to look at the set the meta table of this table, look at for an underscore index property. And if that property exists, and it is um, its value is a table, it will look at that table for the property that you were requesting. So if we had a location is equal to Los Santos, that would get returned right here. 
So if we want to go ahead and give that a try, let's jump over to our server and we will restart organizations. And if we look in game, we will see that we did output the location. So we had an organization table and we made that the index for this primary table that we created. So it acts as almost a fallback. So our primary table did not have location. So we fall back to organization, which did. Thus, we um, were able to output the location. If location does not exist on the organization table, then it will return nil. So what we're going to do is we're going to make use of that to make these functions in our organization class available on this table. So now we have police, we have organization. So what we should be able to do is here, we should be able to do police get name. And if we just uh, restart, restart organizations again, we will see that we did get the name. So here, what happened was we got police and we used our um, colon operator to call the function get name, which went to the index, fell back to organization, ran get name, and because of the colon, it passed the police table, this table, in here so that we could use <clears throat> the name from this upper class here. And this is pretty much um, how we can have multiple instantiations of the same class in Lua. So we could then go and say local news is equal to um, set meta table. Uh, let's go name is equal to San Andreas news. And then we'll do index equals organization. And if we do news get name and we'll keep police get name. If we come back here, we'll see that we output Los Santos Police Department and then San Andreas news. So we have two instantiations, two variables that are using this same set of functions to um, to provide functionality to those tables. So we could do something where we pull all of our organizations out of the database. And then for each one, we create an object out of them, set the meta table, and we can use that meta table for um, interacting with it. And yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into this, kind of clean it up a little bit and show you how to make your classes look almost like they would in an actual object-oriented programming language. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, click on that little thumbs up button down below. To stay up to date with future videos, click on that subscribe button. And if you're not caught up, check out my last video right over there to my right. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one.